have many people worried. <laughs> I, I don't know, as we were talking about just before the break, the people that are affected by the triple digits seem to like it. So all of the people in the interiors are used to the heat and I'm sure it's nothing new. Let's take a look though, a little bit closer to the water. Cayucas, our 805 webcams. Gorgeous shot. I say that about every shot though. It's hard not to. People still strolling along the beach earlier this evening. Now, one of the biggest things going on in my forecast is the heat and the wind. So we don't have any advisories in place, but we do still have some gusty conditions, especially right through the south coast and over in our t interior areas. So by Paso Robles, we've got some 22 mile an hour gusting going on and then down by the south coast is looking pretty similar. But as we head into the early hours of Sunday, starting to drop off for most of our forecast area, but we will see that pattern of overnight winds coming right on back. You can see mainly down in our Santa Barbara County area and again isolated to areas like Paso and Shandon. And that'll die down as we head into Monday as well, but we'll see that pattern. Now the next couple of hours over by places like the Gaviota Pass where we're affected down on the south coast, this is how it stacks up for the next seven hours. 19 miles an hour all the way through the 1 a.m. before we start to drop off through the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. hours and things will calm down just a little bit nicely until we see that pattern switch again and they'll come back again on Sunday evening. Now tomorrow's forecast highs for the state of California are really warm in those interiors Sacramento over by Fresno Bakersfield and we get cooler when you head to places like Monterey and San Luis Obispo. If we zoom in a little bit and take a look at our beach coastal areas and inland areas you can see that stacks up for places closer to home in the 70s to upper 60s for the beaches. So if you want to end out the weekend by the beach it's going to be a beautiful we might have a little bit of low cloud action in the morning, but by the afternoon, we'll have clear skies and those clouds will dissipate. Coastal valleys will be that sweet spot in the middle. We're in the low 80s before you get to some boiling conditions by the interiors. 101 on Sunday and 102 on Monday. A closer look to some of those beaches. Pismo, we've got the low clouds and only about 57 degrees by 9 a.m. But as I said, clearing out when we'll hit the 70s by the afternoon. Orchid tomorrow, we'll see those low clouds come on back by 5, but we will see a daytime high around 75. And Los Olivos um, tomorrow, I butcher that every time. So don't make fun of me. Los Olivos tomorrow will be in the upper 80s by three o'clock. So nice and warm and Atascadero also hitting very close to triple digits 99 by around one o'clock. Sunday a little bit zoomed in Santa Maria 75 Lompoc 74 North Coast will be in the upper 60s to some low 70s and then the five cities areas we've got the 70s all the way down the coastline but Shandon and the California Valley are hitting triple digits to end out the weekend and Santa Barbara County 90s for Solvane San Inez and 77 in Goleta and get used to the heat I'm sure you already are if you live in Paso triple digits through the weekend and San Luis Obispo in the those 80s. Santa Maria and Santa Barbara though will be steady in those mid to upper 70s. Dusty.